Sony ZV-1 Review Right now, the Sony ZV-1 is the best pocket vlogging camera you can buy. It combines the best video features of the RX100 series with design tweaks that make it ideal for shooting YouTube videos from home or on the go. Sony's real-time tracking and real-time IAF systems put this camera over the top. With a 1-inch sensor larger than those in smartphones today, the ZV-1 offers high-quality vlogs and consistent focus and pleasing background blur. In addition to the 3.5mm microphone port, the hot shoe allows you to mount accessories such as a shotgun mic or LED light without needing a bracket. Despite its improved 3-capsule internal microphone over the RX100 series and other compact cameras, the ZV-1 does not offer audio that matches the quality of its video. The camera does come with a windshield, which is essential for shooting in windy conditions. Steady shot works fine for walking videos, but its smoothness lets it down in comparison with DJI Osmo Pocket, the GoPro Hero 8 Black, or larger cameras like the Olympus EM5 Mark III. Its strongest stabilization adds a crop that can make handheld shots slightly tight. Its touchscreen isn't compatible with menus like the handy FN grid, and its settings are confusing for video newcomers. A beginner's guide would have been useful. The ZV-1 offers more power and video features than any other pocket camera, so it's perfect for shooting content for YouTube and other social media. There are however new features, including real-time IAF autofocus, that aren't available in the latter two cameras. It's like a Sony RX100 Mark V redesign for YouTubers. Its best new feature is its articulating touchscreen on the side. As opposed to a tilting screen, this one leaves the top and bottom of the camera free for attaching accessories. Additionally, it can also be flipped 180 degrees to shoot forward, which is ideal for one-person YouTube channels. Sony's touchscreen features are still pretty limited. In videos, for example, you can tap to pull focus, but not in photo or menu navigation. Nevertheless, the benefit of the side-hinged screen is that a hot shoe can be mounted on top of the camera. It would be tough to live without a built-in EVF on a stills-oriented camera, but if you need a camera to handle both photos and video, consider it. It makes sense for vlogging cameras like the ZV-1, because the target audience will primarily be viewing the screen as a viewfinder, and it helps reduce the ZV-1's price, if not as much as we'd hoped. For instance, the Sony RX107 required an external bracket for mounting, but not with the ZV-1, which also has a 3.5mm microphone input. For vlogging cameras, a 3.5mm audio jack is essential, otherwise you can't capture good-looking video. Sony ZV-1 comes with a three-directional capsule mic built into its top plate, with channels left, center, and right. Sony bundles a dead cat windshield with the ZV-1, which plugs into the hot shoe to reduce wind noise while shooting outdoors. As we'll see later, an external microphone is still better than any built-in option, so that 3.5mm port is crucial. It is less welcome to find a Micros port below the mic port. Although USB-C ports aren't a deal-breaker, it would be nice if all cameras had them these days for charging and convenience. You cannot monitor the sound on your recordings with the Fujifilm ZV-1 since it does not have a USB-C headphone adapter. However, since the ZV-1 is capable of charging while in use, it's not totally in the dark. It also offers two useful design features that the RX107 and its predecessors lacked. Although it does not change the way the ZV-1 handles, many RX100 series owners have added third-party accessories to improve their camera's performance. Lastly, the video recording button on the new Sony camera is now as large as the shutter button. Unlike the RX100 series, the ZV-1 is a video-first camera with still capabilities. Despite the lack of an EVF and lens control ring, the ZV-1 offers a side-flipping screen, hot shoe, and mic port, making it the best pocketable tool for vloggers and YouTubers. As a result of the ZV-1's hybrid autofocus, which combines phase detection and contrast detection, it is faster and more precise for video than rivals like the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark III. Additionally, Sony's real-time tracking and real-time IAF, for people, make it the best compact camera for capturing people and moving subjects. If you have face and IAF enabled, it will also seamlessly switch to the latter when it detects a person's face. When shooting at an aperture like f/1.8, it can be very easy to lose focus on someone's face. Instead, we found the ZV-1 did a remarkable job of tracking our eyes across most of the frame.